Hey, you guys. I'm doing something a little different today. I beat Michael home, and by the time he is ready to get out, everything over here by the old mill is going to be closed. There are some shops that we haven't been to in a really long time. Um, the cat house I was thinking about going in because we've not been in there forever. So, we'll see where I go. See you in a minute. It looks like the for sale sign is gone. This property has been bought. Wait. Could that be the sign right there or a piece of trash? No, that's just a piece of trash. So, it looks like 3316 has been sold. And this is the street directly off the bridge. Look, there's the old mill restaurant. Here is the cat house and a coffee shop. They're open. I'm gonna go down just a little bit further and see what's open. I mean, the parking lot's pretty busy over here. I mean, not busy, but more than I thought would be. And when I was walking here, were there not cars parked here? It's like they were here, I put the phone down. I picked his phone up, all the cars are gone. Maybe I'm crazy. Door is locked, but it's so small that I really don't have to go in. Look how nice. Fragrance pottery. Look at all those nice lotions in there. It is a really cute little boutique is what it reminds me of. The decorations are really nice. It's called Misty Mountain Soap Company. I think somebody told me about this place. This is where they come to get all of their soaps. How neat is that? Look, there's a sink for you to try some soaps, I bet. There's some prices. It's pretty nifty. Shop hours, Saturday through Tuesday, 10.30 to 4.30. No wonder. Misty Mountain Hand and Body Lotion. Eight no more. Oh, they even have CBD. Like, there's a little gift pack you can get. Really, really cute little store. And a bar. And this was the reason I was coming here today. I wanted to see Hikey Mikey. But they are closed for the season. Which you don't, you know, you can't blame them. People aren't hiking. But people like to buy stuff in winter, I suppose. But maybe they just don't get a ton of business over here. But it's still nice in there. Dang. I won't show too much. I turn the corner and this is what I see. Look how pretty that is too. I really wish they were open. I can't wait to see what the inside looks like. See where we are? There's the bridge and the waterfall and the old mill. This is the old mill district. It's my favorite. I'm a little biased, I think. Oh my gosh. I mean, I wouldn't know what to choose. I love all different kinds of art, abstract. I don't really like old Victorian um, art, but like this, is beautiful, like mosaics I love, and that is really cool too. Look, it's a hummingbird. She's pretty. Really neat. <laughs> wow. I wish it was open. I want to see these treasures. Treasures, unusual and unique gifts and jewelry. Welcome to the mountains. Love it. Mm -hmm. I was about to turn around, but why? I want to see what is back here. I have lived here my whole life and I have never stepped foot over here. I have no idea what it could be. Is it just more shops? The back end of the shops that are up front, it's got to be, duh. I mean, it, they were, yeah, please use front door. But, 
I'm like, oh, you might have to erase that. I feel pretty dumb. <laughs> I'm still walking all over here. Oh, look, the smell boxes. Look at the M for private. I want to live up there. So, I better turn around. I don't think this is allowed. And I am going to wander down to the bridge to see how she looks. There she is from this side. I like it down here. I could sit and like read a book all day. And look over here, I've really, somebody asked not too long ago for me to get this phone number from these houses because they used to be, you could rent them overnight rentals. And it was really neat. It was right here on the river and there were houses. Now there's like BB and, boy, Airbnb. So they're a lot more um, available. So I think they actually took these off the market. I'm not sure, but there's no for rent signs. That's nice. I really like that. So onwards and upwards. We haven't been in here in a long time. I wonder what's new at the Smoky Mountain Cat House. Wanda's still waiting for her cat to get off her lap. <laughs> I love the Snuggie and the robe. <laughs> I need me a roller, y'all. Mm. It'd be perfect to feed your little kitties in. That is so neat. Love it. It's Dumbledore. <laughs> really me, Mary Max cats. I'm looking for your pottery. Where shall it be? He pointed in this direction. Ooh, I like those. Pajama pants. I love that bench. Looky there. A note from Rebecca. Look at all the catnip. Really? Catnip gardens bubbles? How awesome. They're catnip bubbles. I'm gonna go get a cat just so I can play with this. That's pretty cool. I love how all the rooms have their own decor. It's really nice and quirky and it makes you want to come back and check them out every time you come to town just to see what's different. Car full of cats, auto sunshade. <laughs> there she is, Mary Max Designs. My name is Mary Mayberry. I live in Central Virginia, surrounded by beautiful mountains. I've enjoyed various crafts throughout my life. I enjoyed making ceramics a few years ago. Scrapbooking, painting, drawings, and floral arranging. I took a basic pottery class here if you guys want to finish reading that. Go right ahead. I want to show you the pottery she does. Mary, I love it. Look how adorable. Where this has got to be one of my favorite stores here. It is just so much cuteness and fun and different than your average shop. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you like these shops. We'll definitely be coming back when they reopen for the season. Thank you. Like, subscribe, share, do everything you want to do. Don't. <laughs> it's never too late. Like, to go do anything you want to do. Just go do it. Love you guys. Bye.